Hello everyone! Have you ever heard of Pascal's Triangle? It's a fascinating mathematical concept that has been around for centuries. In this video, we will explore what Pascal's Triangle is and how it works. So, what is Pascal's Triangle? It's a triangular pattern of numbers that is named after the French mathematician Blaise Pascal. It starts with a 1 at the top and each number below it is the sum of the two numbers directly above it. So, the first row is just 1. The second row is 1 and 1, which is the sum of the two 1s in the first row. The third row is 1, 2, 1, which is the sum of the 1 and 1 on the second row and the 1 on the left and right of the row above it. And so on. As you can see, each number in Pascal's triangle is the sum of the two numbers directly above it. This may seem simple, but it has some fascinating properties. One of the most interesting things about Pascal's triangle is that it contains a lot of information about binomial coefficients. Binomial coefficients are the coefficients in the expansion of x plus y to n power. And each number in Pascal's triangle corresponds to a binomial coefficient. For example, the fourth row of Pascal's triangle is 1, 3, 3, 1. These are the coefficients in the expansion of x plus y to the third power. Another interesting thing about Pascal's triangle is that it contains many interesting patterns. For example, if you look at the diagonals of the triangle, you will see some interesting patterns. The diagonal from the top to the bottom is all ones. The diagonal next to it is the counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. The diagonal next to that is the triangular numbers 1, 3, 6, 10, etc. And so on. There are many other patterns in Pascal's triangle, but we won't have time to explore them all in this video. If you're interested, I encourage you to explore Pascal's triangle further on your own. Pascal's triangle has many applications in various fields, including mathematics, physics, computer science, and statistics. Here are some examples of how Pascal's triangle is used in real life. Combinatorics Pascal's triangle can be used to calculate the number of combinations of a set of items. For example, if you have five books on a shelf, you can use Pascal's triangle to find out how many ways you can choose two books from the shelf. Probability Pascal's triangle can also be used to calculate the probability of certain events. For example, if you flip a coin five times, Pascal's triangle can be used to calculate the probability of getting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 heads. Genetics Pascal's triangle is used in genetics to calculate the probability of certain gene combinations in offspring. Programming Pascal's triangle is used in programming to generate certain patterns. For example, Pascal's triangle can be used to generate the coefficients for the binomial expansion of a plus b to the nth power. Cryptography Pascal's triangle is used in cryptography to generate random numbers. For example, the Fibonacci sequence which is related to Pascal's triangle, can be used to generate a random sequence of numbers that can be used as encryption keys. These are just a few examples of how Pascal's triangle is used in real life. As you can see, 
Pascal's triangle has many practical applications in various fields, making it an essential concept to understand for anyone interested in mathematics and its applications. So there you have it, Pascal's triangle. It's a fascinating mathematical concept that has been studied for centuries. I hope this video has given you a glimpse into the beauty and complexity of Pascal's triangle. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.